George Guido. I live in Lower Borough, and the title of my book is Ali Kiski Sports History. Now, what, uh, what made you want to write a book on sports history? Well, I've covered uh, sports, particularly high school sports, in the Allegheny Valley area for about 38 years now, 22 in the print media, the Valley News Dispatch, and before that, the radio and cable TV in New Kensington. And I've done some historical pieces, such as a weekly column on Wednesdays in the Valley News Dispatch. And I always had readers and sports fans come up to me and say, George, you want to do a book on sports history? And at first I thought, well, I don't know, putting together a book uh, sounds kind of complicated. But I finally got around to doing it about uh, a year ago, and I'm, I'm glad I did. It's been received very well. How is it organized then? I organized it. I, I tried to make it as pictorial as possible, but I have uh, chapters, and the chapters are interrelated. I have about 50 chapters. I talked about the great teams uh, Valley had in basketball in the New Kensington Arnold area. I talked about uh, Bud Carson, a famous coach from Freeport, who coached the Steelers' Steel Curtain in the mid-1970s as an assistant to Chuck Knoll. I talked about an Aspenwall High School football team. They went through the entire season one year undefeated, untied, and unscored upon. So I took uh, uh, subjects and kind of made it uh, a chapter, though they are unrelated. Is there a favorite chapter or a favorite story? I think the favorite thing I did, I stole a page from Rick Seebeck's uh, shows on WQED Channel 13. I took local football stadiums that no longer exist in baseball stadiums in the Allegheny Valley area and showed before and after pictures. I showed a before of, uh, uh, of a game taking place and now uh, what is there. Sometimes a, a building or a garage or an industry now that uh, replaced a former football or baseball field. Well, what are you working on next? Or are you exhausted after uh, this project? Well, the uh, the art, or the public opinion has me wanting to do another book since there's a lot of things I didn't get to. I tried to cram as much uh, history of the Allegheny Valley in about 300 pages, and uh, uh, there's a lot that I left out, so that could be my next project. All right. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me.